Hey everyone, this is Carthag. I know it's been a while, so yay, I'm still around. Real life gets in the way sometimes. Anyway, today we're going to be doing custom staircases in the enhanced client. Something that's kind of confusing for a lot of people. And um, because they don't use the classic client or they just don't want to install the classic client or for whatever reason you know people are doing decorations in the enhanced client and I know that is the client that the um, developers push a lot as well so we're going to solve the mystery of how to do custom staircases so um, I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible I want to do this all in one take and it is possible to do it it's just not the same way as a lot of tutorials and step-by-step um, -step instructions are done else you know explained elsewhere simply because a lot of people you know we've been a lot of us are old schoolers and we like the classic client for whatever reason you know this is not about what client is better this is just how to manipulate things in different clients so we're going to do the enhanced client custom staircases and I'm going to explain some of the differences between the enhanced and the classic while we go through this okay so this is a plot that I threw down in you on the test center um, it's not public but when I make it public you know people can come and check out things because I like to experiment as well so this is you on the trammel side on the test center here's the U gate you just go north and west and bam there it is okay this is a 18 by 15 plot so it's pretty big and um, yeah let's just get to it shall we so I'm not going to totally explain customizing right now this is purely for the staircases I'll make some other videos which will be in the classic client I'm sorry <laughs> I prefer that one so I'm in deco mode now or customizing mode okay and a little bit of explanation the stairs themselves okay are done in single pieces four tiles long and four cube tiles long so let me explain what a cube tile is okay let me just go over here this is a cube tile okay now this is an exterior piece it actually can only be placed here but I'm using this just for example this is a cube tile what I call a cube tile anyway and staircase interior staircases are four cube tiles one two three four in whichever direction you want to go okay now the trick that we want to do or what not a trick what we want to do is make it from four to say maybe only two wide one two we want to keep these two we want to get rid of these two the problem is though when you grab the eraser tool you can't just erase one tile you wind up erasing all four okay so I'm gonna show you how to what we call break the stairs alright now in the classic client we use teleporters plant them on the floor on the on the tile the kit tile cubes that we want to get rid of so let's say I want to have a T staircase that goes you know north and then east and west so if I want to keep one and two I want to get rid of three and four and then I grab my stair an interior staircase place it over where I want to erase this is how we do it in the cl classic client okay and then we would go to erase by going and playing with the visibility but in the enhanced client when we go to make things invisible we can't get to what we want to erase okay in the classic client we can make walls t transparent and the stair itself will also go transparent but it's not doing that here the stairs are not counted as walls in the enhanced and that's where the conundrum is so if I want to get, try to get to those tiles the, those teleport tiles to erase it's impossible okay so what we do then is we use walls Ta -da! oh my god Eureka walls 
So I'll grab a wall. Now remember, each wall also takes up a tile. One, two, three, four. Okay, I want to keep one and two and get rid of three and four. Now I'm going to make this particular staircase too wide, but I'm only going to build them one at a time, and you'll see. So let's grab my stair. Whoops. Okay place it where I want. Now you notice those wall tiles turn orange. Whenever you have orange pieces in your house design you cannot commit the design. You have to get rid of those orange tiles. So we're going to do that. We're going to get rid of the orange tiles. So make sure when you come over, now you notice how you're moving but the stair highlights. Don't worry about that. You want to make sure that your little circle target area is over the wall not the stair. Okay? Over the wall delete the wall and delete this wall. Now the stair is still there, the walls are gone. Let's make sure that this is how it wa how we want it to be. We go up to the second story. Let it load. Oh, check it out. Come back down. Okay. We have one and two squares that are kind of invisible now and then two that are for all intents and purposes gone. Um this is an indicator that there's stairs there. To show you what I mean, let me go ahead and commit this design. It's going to cost me 4,000 gold pieces. Oh, check it out! It's there! Woohoo! I got stair! I got partial stairs. Okay? And they do work. Well, now let's build the rest of my T staircase, shall we? So we'll go back into the design mode. Do, 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 do. Takes a few minutes. Okay, so let's get this party rocking, shall we? Okay, so grab my wall piece again. I want to keep one and two, delete three and four. Grab my stair. Go to erase. Make sure I'm only highlighting over that. Go up to the second floor. Bam. Now I have four pieces. One, two, three, four. That's my first two tiers on the staircase. Now I want to tee out going this way and this way. So we will grab our wall again. And for the sake of exercise, I'll go ahead and I'll choose perpendicular. So I want to delete one and two. I want to keep three and four. Okay? So we'll go one and two. Grab my steps. Get the direction that I'm working with. I'm going this way. Place them. Notice it goes orange. Grab my eraser. Just highlight over those walls. One and two. Jump up to the second floor. Bam! Come back down. Oh, sorry. Come back down. Grab the wall again. Now I'm going to make the staircase going this way. I want to get rid of one and two. I want to keep three and four. So here, one and two. Grab the stair again. Make sure I'm going in the right direction. Plant. Erase, one and two, jump up to the second floor, load, bam, ta-da, come back down, okay, and then I will commit, and say okay, and there we go, check it out, oh, look at that, oh, but wait a minute, what about here, oh no, we, we will fall into a hole and not be able to go anywhere. Well, there's different ways you could do it. Some people use Goza. Other people use um, what I'm going to use here. I'm actually going to use the crafted stone blocks. Okay? And they stack. Now, this is one reason why I personally do not like customizing in the enhanced client or decorating in the enhanced client because I if you can see this weird stuff that's the circle of transparency 
in the cl in the classic client it'll actually make everything kind of invisible but over here it doesn't so I'm gonna have a hard time putting putting my blocks down don't mind me now you can do it in one of two ways you can plant your block in, hello, where I want it not there see this is always fun <laughs> there okay and then you can lock it down and you can use the decorating tool and make it go up okay personally I mean that's if you're short on materials so there we go okay now I'm not going to be able to place it over here because my circle of transparency will not blot that out but I will show you that this does indeed work Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so there you go. Now I'm not going to go further on into this, you know, because there's all different kinds of ways of doing it or, you know, different configurations you can make, but at least you can see that, yes, it is possible to break the stair in the enhanced client. All right, I'm going to upload this video and I'll make some more in depth design related videos, but that's going to be done in the classic client. Okay, so get this uploaded and posted up to the forums at Ultima online or uo.com so that people can see all right now I do I have to give credit where credit is due I did not come up with this myself this is actually based on a tutorial that was posted over at stratix.com on their old website um, the for the that tutorial was actually done by LSR Godras of Great Lakes um, and posted a long, 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 long time ago. Um, his notes, or that player's notes, say that you know they had been doing it this way to breaking or manipulating the staircase since the Kingdom Reborn client came out, the first 3D client. So I want big thanks and kudos to LSR Gudras of Great Lakes. Um, without that tutorial, this video would not be possible. So everyone have fun decorating your houses and breaking stairs. Take care. Ahoy ho. This is Kurthag signing off. And yes, I'm signing off. <laughs>